What is the best game pass in Emergency Response Liberty County? There are currently 11 different game passes you can pick up for a bunch of different prices. Today we're going to be taking a look at every single one of them, starting with the Big Guns Pack. This pack is going to allow you to get access to some super overpowered guns, including a Russian PPSH submachine gun, the Remington Sniper Remington... Uh, sorry, machine gun M249, and we're going to be checking some of these out. So I do have the M249 bought. I'm buying the Remington MSR, which is a sniper variant of the Remington, and we're going to test both of these ones out quickly, as these are the two most popular, the two most ones played with. Now, the sniper is going to be doing a 75 base damage hit. Now, if you do get someone in the head with that, it's going to instantly kill them. The M249 comes in with... 10 damage per shot and 200 rounds in the chamber with a fire rate of 11 a second the sniper is going to be coming in with six rounds in the chamber not as many now just having another look at this thing you will you still have to buy and this is something that's important that comes in this pass that explicitly states you still have to purchase these weapons they don't come just because you've bought this pass now, these have a rapid-fire mode, and with the M249, while it might not be st the most effective for destroying cash registers, its fire rate is unmatched. There's not, a, there's not a single other weapon in the game that's going to allow you to maintain a fire rate like this one. Now, one thing that I always tell people in this game, if you are stealing the cash register, you can reload and steal at the same time, so make sure to do that. Now, we've got a firing range, luckily enough, at the back of the gun store. As you can see here, it is pretty accurate for short bursts. However, for those longer bursts, especially if you're holding it down, it can get a little, well, little uneven. It's not going to land on target as many. But as you can see, if you're just firing one round at a time, you're usually going to hit the target. Compared to just spraying, you are going to get a massive amount of recoil. And if you just continue to spray and shoot forwards, you're eventually your barrel will be pointed up at the ceiling. So if you've got good control, especially when you're firing this, you're going to be all right. And with the overwhelming amount of bullets, it's not too bad. And coming in at a price of 185 Robux, it's kind of reasonable compared to some of the other prices in that we can pick up. Looking at the SWAT, I like to compare stuff to the SWAT pass, which is 750 Robux. This is considerably much cheaper. It's also very great if you love playing a Mafia group. It really comes down to play style. If you're someone who's out there grinding for cash as a Mafia or with some mates, you definitely want to be picking up this bundle for a just much better experience And if you just want to dominate police. As you can see here, this is the Sniper Remington MSR Sniper variant. Very accurate, very high damage. This is for your assassin, and this is greatly combined if you are using something like the baseball bat, which I do have equipped, the knife, or even the screw... No, hang on, not screwdriver, hammer. Even the hammer. And as you can see, those shots, we almost always land on point. It is an extremely accurate weapon, as I demonstrated just with that shot there. And our follow-up shot. There we go again. Now, the only downside to this weapon is that to fire another round, once you've zoomed in, you have to zoom back out, uh, clear the chamber, put the next round in the chamber, and then fire. And that does that's a massive drawback because the amount of time it takes to do that is way too long. Coming on to our next pass, we have the electric vehicle pass. Now, whilst this is only 10 Robux cheaper than our last pass, the big guns, this is still 175 Robux. Now, this is pretty reasonable if you think about it considering you're going to get six vehicles that are pretty powerful this is a solid pack and whilst i might not say it's my favorite it's still an enjoyable one i love going around in some of these cars especially with the new edition of the celestial truckatron cybertruck same thing but you know copyright issues so they can't do that uh bkm roadster bmw but we're not obviously we're not going to refer to it as a bmw because it's clearly bkm otherwise we also have the celestial Type 6, Tesla Type 6, you know. Uh, and some of the other vehicles. So I'm going to start with the Tesla, because obviously this is the most well-known. I've got it in hot pink, because why not? This is a perfect getaway vehicle, and the speed on these cars is not great. <laughs> 
but the acceleration is just ridiculous, especially with this one. You're going to be able to accelerate to your top speed much quicker than nearly any other car. In fact, this is perfect for quick getaways, and if you're good at maneuvering around the city, driving into gaps, going down into the parking garage, etc., pulling tight drifts, turning around tight corners, this is the perfect car for you. Now, the other thing you'll notice with electric cars, you're obviously not filling it up with gas, so you're not paying the exuberant gas prices at the River City Gas & Go. Instead, you're going to be able to charge your vehicle for free by just parking it in the green zone at any of the electric EV vehicle charges around the city, or you can hold down just like the gas one and charge it manually, or if you have the instant fuel or electricity pass, technically, you are going to be able to fuel your car up instantly and get back out there. So obviously we don't have a fuel bar for this, we have an electricity battery charge one, and we are at 100%, and just that probably 5 seconds of driving, or even less than that, we've already gone down a percent. So it's pretty, you know, it's much more cost effective compared to paying for gas and for some of the gas cars, but it's still, it's pretty much the same. It's going to come back, it's slightly cheaper in terms of, in terms of speed and uh, the speed is much different compared to some of the basic starter cars you're going to be looking at early on as well. Now, the only, another downside to this is how expensive they are. If you're starting off, if you're strapped for cash, you don't have a lot of money, these aren't necessarily going to be your top priorities, especially if you're saving up to buy weapons or start a mafia. You're going to need money more for this. But they do have some cheaper options in terms of what vehicles there are in the EV car pack. And this is another downside to these packs, same as the big guns pack. By buying this pack, you don't get these cars for free. You have to purchase them on top of the pass in-game. Now, we're just going to drive around. This is one of my favorite vehicles in the pack. <laughs> We have a Cybertruck, and not only can we close open and fold up the back, our tailgate, we have storage, we have, we've got our trunk, tailgate, and, well, bed cover, or boot cover, because I'm an Australian, we don't say trunk, or anything else, it is boot, car boot, that is what we call it, that is what it is. Now, moving on to some of the other vehicles, we have this one. Now, this one is a nice one. See, the good thing about this pack, it just comes with really solid cars. For me, personally, they look absolutely brilliantly done. The design have all been updated. They're the most modern. They're the most updated out of all the cars. They've been reworked multiple times, and they are just at the top of their game. They all look great. They all drive great. So it's a solid pack, another solid pack. And 175 is pretty reasonable for all the stuff you're going to get into it. Now, with this... EV vehicle we are. I've also wanted all of a sudden. Of course I am. We are going to be heading on to where our next pass is. Now you may be a bit confused with that. Now this pass is one of the, well, more disliked passes in the community, in the emergency response community, and less bought. And it, that is going to be the premium housing. Now this one is, I don't know, I think it's slightly underrated. I think it's for 135 Robux, it is on the much cheaper end of the spectrum in terms of what passes that are available. Now, again, if you have this pass, you don't get houses for free. You have to pay for them. As you can see here, you still have to pay for them. Now, the thing is, with premium housing, you are going to be able to now buy two-story houses. Now, whilst with normal, so normal players, without this pass, you are limited to only buying a one-story house, a smaller house. Now, that is absolutely fine. The only thing is, with this double-story house, the premium housing, you can actually spawn in a vehicle. Now, spawning in a vehicle is pretty handy, especially if you think about it. You're getting chased by the police, and your car is buggered. It's on fire, you've got a little bit of juice left in it, and you can crash that at a standard house, you're not going to be able to do anything. You crash it at a double story premium house, you're going to be able to spawn in a new vehicle and get back in the game even quicker. Now, I'll just show you the interior. It's pretty much the same as the your, your standard house. The design's a little bit different. There's no more functionality compared to a standard one. So really, the only thing you're paying for with this pack for 135 Robux is the ability to spawn in a car, have an aesthetically pleasing build, because this is quite a nice house, uh, and just extra room. And as someone that has played this game for a while, I often find myself not purchasing properties. In fact, I don't usually buy a house at all, because most of the time you're just getting chased by cops or uh, tasing people around the city. So you're not really going to have the chance to come back to a house. And 
the game's not really a thing where you have a place to come back and call home, especially with people who predominantly play it, who are just getting out there to either make money, grind XP, whatever you're doing. It doesn't usually involve purchasing a house. So essentially, the only thing you're getting with this is if you walk up to this garage part here, you can spawn in any vehicle. Can't repair it. You can't buy new ones. Everything you own is here. You can spawn any and all of them in at any time. So we're going to pick our Bullhorn Foreman. This is the 1998 edition of this car. It is one of the newer ones, which was recently added to the Classic Pack with one of the last updates. So I'm going to drive this round for a little bit and we'll start making our way away from the housing suburbs. And that is the Premium Housing Pack coming in at 135 Robux. If you're really into houses and you're really into role-playing, you know, with a building maybe pick it up but oh whoa caused a bit of a uh, car collision there with a standard is that a holy moly is that a I think that's a cop I thought that was just a standard car no no sheriff oh it's a ghost car well hats off to you sir for figuring out for not making me realize you were a civilian I thought you were a civilian car yeah right dot 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 <laughs> yeah that's how I feel dot 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 damn right have a good one mate uh, but again, premium housing, 135 Robux, eh, pretty pricey, considering you're only just getting a double-story building to spawn a car. Now the FD Special Operations Pass! <laughs> this spot has, this pass has a special place in my heart. This pass is absolutely amazing for trolling people. Now, <laughs> if you're playing in private servers all the time, you're going to know that you can place a lot more than the standard limit on equipment and in this pass you are going to be getting access to a hazmat special operations truck hazmat suits uh level a and b hazmat tools wash station tent new neutralizer for hazmat waste spills water rescue tools lifesaver and life vest and the tech rescue tools safety rope and uniform which is and I mean, this is the truck you're getting. It looks pretty cool. It's really sluggish to drive. Not great at maneuvering and doesn't have a great top speed. It looks all right. It's all right for role plays. It is just a, it is literally, it's just a mediocre car. It's not great. There are so much better vehicles that you can spawn like the Brush Falcon Advance on the FD team without having to use this. This is a pack that is totally not needed. In fact, I, unless you're into hardcore role playing FD and just want to get in with some cool hazmat suits so you're playing i don't know scp or even zombie role plays this pass could be for you and in fact it does come with some pretty cool assets including the wash tent and the tent itself we've got our hazmat neutralizer uh, right here radioactive neutralizer so if there is a specific accident uh the nuclear waste truck blows up or has an accident which rarely spawns in you will be able to neutralize that and get some xp the other thing we're going to get is a life ring to pull people in. However, it does have some glitches sometimes. And this can also be used to grief people and troll them, which I will demonstrate very shortly. We've got our first couple of customers pulling up on the bridge. Definitely not customers, but unhappy people that have we've stopped. We've got a cop car here. Anyway, life ring act, uh, acts the same way as your safety rope on as that you get as part of the SWAT team. Uh, F and R to... It, retract and extend and yeah that is pretty much the only function of the life rope i mean it's role play if someone's fallen into the river of lego city no nah, not really uh you're not building the police helicopter you're throwing in the life ring now i've got someone else who's not happy that there's a bit of a traffic jam here right you are mate right you are all right he's just gonna continue along the main freeway yep see you mate fair enough i've got the falcon stell in here as well we're gonna box this guy off uh, stop crashing into us. Set up our thing here. But again, anyway, so with this pass coming in at 400 Robux. Now this, again, look, I have mixed feelings about this pass. I I absolutely love it in the sense that it's got some pretty cool stuff. I love, love the hazmat uniform. This is the tech rescue uniform. And the ability to kind of just be a nuisance and throw some life rings at people and set up some tents. That's cool. Uh... But look, it really doesn't have any need. And if you've got, especially if you're strapped for Robux or you ha only have a limited amount, I strongly recommend getting other stuff rather than this one. I mean, you can literally pick up the premium housing and the big guns pack and the uh, permanent scanner or even... A 
some of the other ones. You can get three instead of getting this one. Like, this is definitely not one that is needed. You can do all the functions that you're going to do as part of the emergency response, uh, fire department, medical service. As you saw there, I was just healing someone up. You can do all of this without requiring to buy this pack. It is not necessarily... It's not it's not necessary whatsoever, all right? You don't need to get this pack. If you like it, definitely go ahead and get it for yourself because it is, you know, it's got some cool assets, reasonably cool truck. It's <laughs> this is what I mean, we're just trolling this guy at this moment like <laughs> if you just spam click on the vehicle it kind of stuffs it up. Uh yeah. Hey man. <laughs> I don't think he's too happy with us. He's got his pistol out, but fortunately for us we're not in a private server so he can't just absolutely butcher us, murder us in the middle of the street. He can only shoot cops that have guns or tasers uh, attached to them. He can't shoot an innocent tech rescue guy from the uh, special FD special operations unit. What does his top say? I was just... Oh, okay. I just wanted to check that. Legalize TND globally. Not sure what that means. Right. Well, we've got an officer down. I think it's time to leave this area. We've got a car fire. We're going to call that a day with the FT Special Operations Pack. So again, coming in at 400 Robux, you're going to get some cool stuff, a cool truck. You're going to get some. You're going to get the wash station. You're going to get the tent, the neutralizer, some outfit, or three outfits. The two hazmat ones, a class A and B. You already have a free one. There's, there's no need for this pack. It's still cool. There's no immediate need for it, and you are going to be getting the safety rope, the lifesaver, the life vest, everything I've said before. It's all right. It's all right. Not many people get this. It's still cool, but you know what? It's pretty much up to you. Now, moving on to the next pass, we have the classic car pack. Now, this pack was, funnily enough, removed from the item shop. You couldn't pick it up for such a long time, but it's back now. Uh, they've revamped it. They've added some new vehicles. They've added some new stuff, and it's coming in at 180. So, pretty, pretty reasonably, if you ask me, considering for 180 Robux... It is actually five more Robux more, so it's five Robux more expensive compared to our electric vehicle pass. Now, in the case of this one, you are getting a lot more than six vehicles, all right? We're getting, what is that, nine, ten, I think it's eleven vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, it's eleven vehicles. <laughs> Just wanted to check my math there for a second. But essentially, not only with this, you will get a free starter classic car with this pass. You will not need to spend game cash to buy more classic cars. However, prices are lower than normal cars. So, the classic cars you still have to purchase apart from a starter standard issue. So, you're going to be starting with your Chevron Antelope as well as the Bullhorn Foreman. So, I, I we used that variant just before. That is free. That is given to you when you buy this pass. It is considered a starter car, so it costs you zero cents to pick up. You will get that for free. You'll purchase that, and you'll have that forever as long as you have your Roblox account. In contrast, you still have to pay again for every single car in the pass. However, all those cars do come in at a massively reduced cost compared to some of the other ones. They're still expensive, so I kind of disagree with the statement that they are a bit cheaper. But it's still cool. And for five Robux more... Th oh, we hit him! Oh, whoops, that's a mistake. Oh, run away, run away, run away. For five Robux more than the EV pass, which only comes with six cars, you're getting 11 with this one. They're pretty cool. And some pretty neat ones. I'm having a seizure here uh, over by the uh, repair center, and the cop's just standing there laughing at us. Yeah, we're dying. We're having a stroke or something. What the heck is going on? I just passed out right next to where the car is. And he's there waving at He's emoting on us. How dare he? This isn't Fortnite. Man. Oh, we're, we're dead again. All right, that's all right. We're back. We'll get, so that is the classic car pack. Got a little sidetracked there. You're going to get 11 different cars. They're all pretty solid. You're going to get some nice ones. They come in at a reduced price in contrast to the EV pass. You still have to pay full price. And moving on to our next one is going to be the SWAT game pass. This one has been updated on September 3rd, 2024. So relatively recently, coming in as one of the most expensive packs for 750 Robux. This one, I swear this used to be 800. That might be my imagination, or maybe it was 700. This one, the, the price for this has changed. I think it went up. Uh, but essentially, this pack is going to give you the most stuff. That you're, this, this pack gives you just a ridiculous amount of stuff. You're going to get a SWAT truck. You're going to get SWAT equipment. Here is the SWAT truck. It looks absolutely just insanely awesome. This is one of my favorite vehicles on the police team. It's sick. It can carry... 
Hang on, let me just get the... Alright, so we can hold six people inside the car, four... We can hold 12 people, including the driver on this car. That is nuts. There is not another vehicle in the game that can hold that many people. This car, I only have praise for this pack. This was one of the first packs I ever picked up, and it is just incredible all round. With the amount of stuff you get in terms of equipment, uniform, guns, you get two guns, the sniper variant uh, of the... The exact same is pretty much on the civilian team, the Bramington Sniper. You're going to get the G36C, an assault rifle with a torch that is extremely overpowered and one of the best weapons in the game. You're going to get the SWAT truck. You're going to get liveries or textures for a bunch of the other cars, which I'm about to show you, including the Chevron commuter van. You're getting equipment, including the ballistic vest, which is the single most overpowered piece of equipment, uniform thing you can pick up in, in the... The entirety of ARLC, the bulletproof vest, in my opinion, is just the single-handedly most overpowered item you can ever pick up. It is just that it is just that powerful. It is not funny. Now, this pack is the downside is it's expensive. 750 Robux isn't cheap for anyone, and most people aren't gonna have that much, uh, if any. So you do have some other options, including the detective and customization pack. So that's what I'd be looking at if you don't have this amount. Otherwise, save up for this. It is one of my all-time favorite packs. There is not a single other pack that I think I would say is my favorite more than this one. Look, the undercover and customization probably are close contenders, but ultimately, you just have so much fun with this. And if you're playing with mates or a group of people, you just can't beat that you can hold 12 people on the Bearcat 4. Uh, two on either side, two on the back, and six in the car. So six outside, six inside. It is just so much fun. Now, coming back to the textures, we are also getting an additional, I think it's four textures. I'll show you them. Starting with our police van there. We've got a texture for that. Scrolling down, if we jump to our Chevron Camion PPV, we can jump into customization. Now, this one baffles me a little bit because there used to be an actual SWAT livery for this car. Now it's strange. It has the exact same texture as the undercover. It is identical. And that doesn't make sense to me. Because if I'm paying for the undercover, I already get that. And if the undercover is the exact same as the SWAT one, that what the heck doesn't make sense to me? Apart from the fact that you can have lights on the car, but it's no different to if it's a ghost texture. So if you know why the reason for that is, let me know in the comment section down below. But otherwise, I think it's extremely strange. It does look sick, but, I mean, the SWAT texture for this is pretty much fake, because you get it with the undercover one. So, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Anyway, that's that car, and I've got the ballistic vest, uh, or bulletproof vest on, which gives you a 25% reduction in bullet damage. 25% reduction in bullet damage. I'm just going to say that one more time. 25% reduction in bullet damage. That is so powerful. So, you think about that. Taking one bullet, hang on, wait, 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 my math is right, so if you take four bullets, that's the same as only taking three, because that bullet, that ballistic vest has saved you from one, so if you take eight bullets, you've essentially saved yourself two bullets, if you take 12 bullets, you've saved three bullets, and it completely negates their effect, so you think about that, if, you t if you're sh shot with 12 bullets, and that kills you. Technically, if you're wearing that vest, you're only shot with eight. So, it's pretty damn powerful. It's pretty damn powerful. So, I definitely recommend this pack, especially for that. And as someone that has just made an absolute fortune, grinding XP in Emergency Response Liberty County with my 500 in-game hours and just exuberant amounts of XP that I've earned over the years on the, emer on the police team, as you can see, 132,000 or whatever it is, that has all come from this SWAT pass. It is so powerful. Now, this is another one of the vehicles. This is a totally new vehicle, and this has got the SWAT uh, texture with it. This doesn't actually come with the pass, but I consider it part of the pass because if you're using this car, you're using it for the SWAT livery. Now, on to another one of my personal favorites. We have the police customization package. I always, always wonder, why is it... It should just be the police customization pass. It's the police customization packages. Bit strange, doesn't bother me, it's still pretty cool. Now, this game pass gives you instant access to customize any police vehicle. You can remove the light bar, push bar, spotlight, etc. This also comes with the option to add extra lights and accessories to your car, such as the window lights, antennas, ALPRs, automated license plate readers, 
wraparound bars, and more. You do not have to buy separate vehicles. How good is that? That means, that's telling us that with any vehicle that we purchased in emergency response on the police or sheriff team, we can now customize, do whatever we want with it, kind of. The downside to this part, this pack, this package, is that, in my opinion, I strongly think it should have been combined with the undercover pass because it is essentially making you pay twice to have an undercover car. If you have the undercover car pass for police, you can only semi make your car undercover. Yes, you can get rid of the standard police texture and have it whatever color you want. You're still going to have stuff on the car, like your push bar, like your grappler, whatever that is, that you can't take off. Sorry, not grappler. The grappler is ex exclusive to the customization pack. But as you can see here, with both of these combined, we can make a fully undercover car or do whatever we want. Now, with the customization pass, we can pick any light bar we want. We can choose whatever we want, however we want, on our vehicle. Now, obviously, I have this as an undercover texture, so we can't actually add the light bar. But in theory, if this wasn't an undercover texture, we can add whatever we want. We can change the light bar options. We want rear lights. Yes, no, maybe we can switch that out. Dash lights, we can, you can do whatever you want with the customization pass. You can make the car yours. And I like that. It allows you to change the car to how you want it. You can customize your police car in pretty much any way, changing the color, changing the design, changing what's on it. It's pretty cool. They've got a ton of different options. Side runners as well. Colors, this is what I mean. It's a pretty cool pass. And it allows you to make your car fully undercover. And it allows you the option to make it a slick top, which just means the light bar isn't on top of the car. It's as the lights, your dash lights and visor lights, which is pretty sick. And for 400 Robux, it's pretty reasonable. You're much better off. Oh my days, we just fell through the map. You're much better off buying this pack than you are buying the FD, the FD pack. Do not buy the FD pack. If you have 400 Robux and you're going to buy the FD pack, just don't. Buy this pack instead. It is that good of a pack. Just You won't regret it. Do not buy the FD pack. <laughs> Can't stress that enough. If you have 400 Robux to buy the FD pack, buy Police Customization Pack, please. It is that good. You won't regret it. I mean, look at these awesome police cars here. They're all done through the police customization pack. That one right there, he's got his ALPR on. He's got his side runners selected. Those are all additional customized, customizable options that you only get with this pass. Again, 400 Robux. It's pretty standard, pretty reasonable. I wouldn't have asked for much of a better one. I think that's a really good deal. This pass gets... A thumbs up. Now, the other thing you'll get with this pass is some items, including the binoculars. Uh, sorry. Not this pass. The detective pass. There we go. Thank you. Putting this up on screen. 300 Robux. 100 Robux cheaper. You are getting significantly less stuff. However, you do get some police equipment, including the binoculars, the crime scene markers, and everything else in between. It's a pretty cool pack. It allows you to make your car undercover. Not fully, as I previously stated. You do need to have the customization pass for that. So you're going to get visor lights and textures, undercover uniform, and detective tools. Now, all those tools you don't need to purchase at all. You get them for free. Unfortunately, you have to reach a minimum requirement uh, police level. I think it's like the first or second one, so don't stress about that. Most of them don't even require that. You'll have evidence markers, some other stuff, police tape, and the binoculars, I know I've said that previously, but that is pretty awesome. It is a cool pass. 300 Robux is pretty reasonable, pretty standard. Don't have many complaints there. It is just a, it's a good pack. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just in the middle. It's just in the middle. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. So now we're just going to pull up our car by here at the maze. And we're going to move on to the two last packs. Two last packs? I think it's the two last packs, yes. We have our... No, sorry, three. Permanent scanner, instant fuel, and unlawful upgrades. Now, the permanent scanner! This is an... This is one I always see debated. You know what? I, I'm not sure if it's always debated, but I always chat about this with people I know. The scanner can be used to view the police radio. No, it can't. That is fake. That is a lie. Don't listen to it. It's wrong. This pass will give you the, the scanner permanently, so you won't have to buy a new one. Yeah, but it has a five-minute cooldown, right? Like, for, so for 85 Robux, instead of purchasing a new scanner every time you get into the game, it's going to remain in your inventory. You can use it whenever you want. However, after you use it, there is a five-minute cooldown before you can use it again. 
It can be active for up to seven minutes before it has to recharge, cool down uh, between uses. So it is pretty good. I'll pull it up in a second here. I've got it equipped. So it automatically uh, spawns in my inventory. So activate scanner. If we activate it, we essentially get seven minutes. There are no cops around, so I'm not going to worry about it. You get seven minutes. You can see on the map where the police cars are with their lights and siren on. So you know if they are chasing you, you can see them on the map. It kind of pings their location with flashing red and blue lights. Little dots on the map that show you where the police are. It's pretty handy, especially if you're trying to avoid them or stay low while they're scoping out the area you've just robbed. You can get around. It's much better if you are playing. If you predominantly play as a criminal, pick this up. Now, this this pass, this pass. If you have, if you can spare 75 Robux, this pass is probably one of the most crucial, most handy, most helpful passes in all of the game. Tired of waiting for your car to fill up at the pump? Yes, yes. This pass will instantly refuel your car's gas to full in just a single click. Or Previously shown earlier, electric vehicle. No such thing as gas. When I have this car, I am fueling up instantly with electric power. Now, everyone, we are on to our very last pack, which is the unlawful upgrades. Now, the unlawful upgrades is 250 Robux. Take full control of your Mafia with this criminal upgrade pass. Here's everything you get. Ability to adjust Payout percentage for Mafia members, increased Mafia member limit from 4 to 6 people, and 25% increased reward for all robberies with or without Mafia. That is pretty damn helpful considering we get a 25% increase in wealth. How good is that? If we make $1 million in the game, which is damn near impossible, we would be making $1.25 million. If we make a hundred thousand dollars, we've made a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. If we've made two hundred thousand dollars, you catch my drift. This is super handy, especially it just prints money out of thin air. People say money doesn't grow on trees. Well, it magically appears with this one. Unlawful upgrades is a must-have for only 250 Robux. Now that wraps up all our passes, all 11 passes. Those include the big guns, the classic car, the police customization, the SWAT team premium housing, detective pass, permanent scanner, instant refuel, unlawful upgrades, electric vehicles, <laughs> and the FD special operations pass. Don't buy it. Now, those are all the passes. Let me know down below what you thought of them. Which one is your favorite? Which ones do you have? And until next time, everyone, goodbye!